a positives. And a positive or a positive phrase is a word or group of words that identifies or tells more about the noun or pronoun it follows. Mr. Smith, my coach, is sick today. My coach is renaming or explaining who Mr. Smith is. If the appositive has to be in the sentence to clarify the noun, it is called restrictive and it does not need commas. My sister's friend Tara taught us how to swim. The appositive Tara is needed to clarify which friend. I just finished a book by the novelist Jody Picoult. The appositive Jody Picoult is needed to clarify which novelist. If the appositive is just providing more information, it is called non-restrictive and it should be set off by commas. My sister's friend Tara, a lifeguard at our pool, taught us how to swim. This sentence has two appositives. The first one, the appositive Tara, is needed to clarify which friend. The appositive, a lifeguard at our pool, is just providing more information and it needs commas. The sentence would still be okay without it. We could say, my sister's friend Tara taught us how to swim. Barack Obama, our former president, was on 60 Minutes last night. We could take our former president out and it still makes sense. Barack Obama was on 60 Minutes last night. Leah wants to study paleontology, the study of fossils. The study of fossils is just clarifying what paleontology is. Now it is your turn. Show what you learned by completing the Google form.